Nanakuma! Chu! Ah, uh, sorry. You're like an old man. He is, right? Hey, I'm not. Well, maybe I am to them. I'm Manabu Tanaka, a 28 year old high school teacher who's the advisor of the basketball club. Seems like I'm old enough to be called old men by high school girls. I thought it'd be after I turned 30. We have student teachers this year, too. So spring has come again. There's a man and a girl who seem nervous in front of me. Both of them graduated from different schools, and this is their second time coming to this school if we include the meeting they had here before. I'm Komoda. It's nice to see you all. Their faces both look pale, especially the girl's looks even sick. I'm Shioya. It's nice to see you all. She's like a robot. Mr. Tanaka, give them a tour of the school. Sure. I'm the youngest among the teachers here. Talk to me anytime you need help. Thanks! Thank you. I was just like them when I was a student teacher. But around the time when teaching practice was over, I liked my students so much that I wanted to stay as their teacher forever. I hope both of them will feel that way. Komoda-kun will teach second years, and Shioya-san will teach first years. I'm the homeroom teacher of one of the classes of year two. Komoda-kun is cheerful. The students has come to like him very quickly. On the other hand, when I returned to the staff room after club activities, I saw Shioya-san and the chief teacher speaking in there. Hmm, you prepared well for class, but I'm sorry. What's going on? Mr. Tanaka, actually... I'm Shioya. It's nice to see you all. Wow, she's so pretty. What kind of mascara are you wearing? Do you have a boyfriend? What do you think about younger boys? Everybody be quiet. Settle down. Oh, sorry. Don't run in the hallway. It's dangerous. Ah, sorry. Oh, hey, I just said it's dangerous. The students are a bit scared of her. I'm unexpressive and bad at communication, especially when I'm nervous. Hmm. You should try to be a bit more cheerful and smile. You'll be able to become close to the kids that way. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Mr. Tanaka. It makes us nervous to be surrounded by a lot of unfamiliar kids, I know. Maybe I'm not cut out for this job. You came here just a week ago. Komoda messed up by seeing trigonometric function like five times in a row and the kids were laughing out loud. Oh. Whoops, don't tell him I told you that. <laughs> okay. She faintly smiled. I think she smiled for the first time after she came here. Her smile reminds me of someone, but I can't remember. What's wrong? No, um, I feel like we've met somewhere before. Never mind, I know we haven't. Oh, you don't remember me? Oh. Well, it's been six years. Six years? I was a senior in college. <gasps> then you are... Shioya-san was one of the students I had as a student teacher. I couldn't recognize her because her appearance changed a lot. She was as untalkative as she is, and her face was concealed with her large bangs. She was a typical bookworm who studied hard every day. Shioya, you got this one wrong. Oh. Let me tell you how to handle it. She started coming to ask me questions after school every day after I tutored her a bit one time. Becoming a teacher was my dream and teaching her made me feel like I was one. On the last day of my teaching practice... I... I like you. Oh, thanks. If... if we meet again after I grow up, would you consider dating me? What? She left at a sprint before I told her my answer. She was such a mousy, shy girl. I guess confessing her love to me was all she could do. I never thought she'd have a teaching practice at the school I work at. I'm sorry I couldn't recognize you until now. You know, you've become so much more attractive that, um, you were attractive back then too, of course. I mean... Oh. Uh... I thought I'd become a teacher because of you. I want to become a helpful, great teacher like you. Really? Yeah, but I don't think I'll be able to do it. And that's not true. Your practice has just started. Hmm... There's no rush. Take your time, okay? Yeah. The blurry memories of her sharpened and made me a bit uncomfortable. The fact she wants to be like me lifted my mood. She almost gave up but started trying desperately to keep smiling at school the next day. However, she still freezes up when students surround her. Miss Shelia, tell us. Um. Guys, she's gotta go. We just asked her what sports she likes. Oh, really? <laughs>
thought they asked her something personal. I... I like soccer. Really? Were you in the soccer club or something? Y yeah Come to think of it, I saw her playing soccer with the guy members a couple of times back then. Really? We're in the girls' soccer club. Why don't you join us after school? Y yeah sure I was worried about her at first, but it's going great. The advisor of the boys' soccer club had to take care of the girls, too. It's great if Miss Shelia can help him. Yeah. I guess she'll fit in soon. I'm glad. When I returned to the staff room after basketball practice was over, shioya san was writing a daily report. Hey! Mr. Tanaka, hi! It's tough to take care of a club, isn't it? It's late. I'll give you a ride home after you've done with it. Oh, really? Yeah. Her reaction from earlier. Does she still have feelings for me? It's like a car date. I'm glad. <laughs> mm, I guess I need to tell her it's not gonna happen. She's become such a mature woman. But my image of her is still nothing to me beyond a student. I can't think of her as a dating option. You know... <sighs> she must have been tired. The next day after I gave her a ride home, I spotted Shioya speaking with girls from the soccer club enjoyably. She's just like one of the students. Hey, Mr. Tanaka. Morning. Uh, hey. After school, when I returned to the staff room, Shioya was working hard on something. What are you doing? Mr. Tanaka, um, my student asked me a question, but I couldn't teach her properly. I'm bad at explaining with words, so I thought I could teach her better if I wrote my explanation out on paper. There are some drawings, too. Yeah, it's great. Oh, uh, yeah. Would you mind if I use that, too? Oh. Hey, make one by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Don't overdo it. Yeah, thanks. I think I experienced something like this before. Oh, it's a different notebook from yesterday. Um, one of my classmates told me to lend it to her. But the exam is soon. Yeah. You should tell her to give you the notebook back. You spent a lot of time taking notes, right? If you find it hard to talk to her, I'll go with you. Mr. Tanaka. Hey! Oh, are you all right? Y yeah I'm fine. Are you okay? Mr. Tanaka, you must have looked terrible. I was in the gym and saw the ball hit you. Do you want to go to the nurse's office? N no, I'm fine. Really? He's so sweet. I really can't give up on him. Her training had been going smoothly and there was a week before it would be over. I was going classroom to classroom to make sure they were locked after school. I like you. Oh. I witnessed a boy confessing his love to Shioya. I'm sorry. You're my students. I can't accept your feelings. Once your practice is over, I'll... Still. You're my student forever. But I'm... Someone there? You're supposed to leave school by now. Uh, Mr. Tanaka, uh, see you. Get home safe. Mr. Tanaka. Yeah? I came to know how you were feeling. Oh. We can't pursue this. Shioya. After I returned home, I kept thinking about Shioya's words. I know I said she was nothing to me beyond a student. Is she still just a student to me? No. I think of her as my co-worker. Then do I think of her as girlfriend material? I couldn't come to any conclusion. The last day of her teaching practice came quickly. Mr. Tanaka, do you have a second? Yeah. I still have feelings for you. Shioya. I know you can't accept my feelings, but I can't pretend I don't like you. I like you so much. I'm really glad I've met you. I can't hold myself back anymore. I like you too. Oh. Did I surprise you? Yeah. I never thought I'd feel this way about you, but while seeing you working hard, I started wanting to spend time with you. Mr. Tanaka. We started dating just like that. <gasps> you didn't like me when you saw me again? No. I was surprised to run into you like that, though. I was too self-conscious. I'm embarrassed. But I fell for you again while working beside you. Seems like I've only got eyes for you, Mr. Tanaka. How cute. She's gonna start working at a different high school this April. You know, that'd be great if you quit calling me Mr. Tanaka. Oh, then... Can I call you Manabu-san? Yeah, she fell for me first, but my heart pounds loudly just because she calls my name like this. What's wrong? 
I've only got eyes for you too. Oh, 